Thanks, Michael. This is my favorite time of the morning when there's food, and we have seafood today. And it can be intimidating for some people to prepare at home, including myself, especially seafood with shells. Well, no fear. We're going to walk you through how to make mussels today. Jackie Shelby is the head chef at Louis Wine Dive, and we are glad to have you here today. You're going to kind of walk us through this whole thing. So, first of all, when you have seafood, especially when I'm looking at it, where do you even start? Well, typically with mussels especially, you start with looking at the actual shell. You just want to make sure that it's clean. If it's, you know, kind of do a little tap on it, make sure it closes back up. If it doesn't, don't eat it. It's not a good mussel. You don't want to be eating that. Oh, that so it's, it's bad for you? Yeah, it means it's dead. Oh. So basically you want to keep mm -hmm. them fresh, uh, fresh water, kind of pull out anything. They typically have like a little beard on them. Just pull it out. Just want to make it sure it's clean and fresh all the time. So these are actually clean, but it would have just like a little bit... I don't yep, want to touch it has like them, a little, you know, about this much, a little beard looking thing okay. on the outside of it. But yeah, that's that's it. Just make sure you tap it and it's good to go. Okay, so then then what's the next step? Um, once you do that, you rinse them really well, you want to get that kind of flavor off of them a little bit, and then you're good to go. I just saute them real fast. Um, right now I've got a little butter, a little cream, a seafood base that we make at the restaurant. And from here on out, you just add the uh, any kind of wine really. I like Chardonnay to be honest. So that's what you would suggest to somebody at home oh, if yeah. they're looking at the different wine Chardonnay's a good idea. That's what I prefer. Yeah. It has that's a better flavor to it the mussels for sure. So it's relatively easy to actually do this oh, as yeah. long as you make sure they're not open right. and like, that they don't have stuff on them. Like this one right here is open already. You just want to We're not going to cook that. Oh, one. okay, wait. Let me see that. Let me see that one. Okay, cuz it was open. Uh-huh. So that means you can still use it. I'm as little, long as you check it. Yeah. I'm a little confused on that. Just tap it right there. Okay, so it's not that it's open, it's just if it's cracked. Uh huh. All right. Yep. As long as it closes back up and it's not cracked, you're good to go. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> all yeah. right. Let's go so ahead and start cooking these guys. Throw them all in. There you go. All right. Now, how long do they sit in here? Uh, about three minutes. We really just want to make sure that you incorporate all of the flavors you put into your pan uh, your wine, your cream, everything else. This is where the fun part comes to. You get to use all your fresh herbs. I like to use fresh thyme. You can use oregano, mm -hmm. rosemary, anything that you personally like. And that uh, just adds a little bit more of a taste to it. Oh, yeah. A little garlic. Fresh garlic always helps whenever you're cooking. It's one of my favorite. And, and then with seafood, it's always fresh lemon, too. That's Ooh, yeah, that's a good idea. Anything you do, it's always a good call. So, big question. How do you know when it's done? As soon as they open up, like right here. One's already cooked off this morning. Can I touch this? Oh, go for it. I'm going to kind of move this so we can show everybody. If we want to zoom in on that, you can see it just kind of opens up a bit here. So you see all the steam coming off? They're going to start opening up like this one right here. Oh, it's already doing that. Uh-huh. It's real fast. So they go for about 30 minutes. And then what would you put with it? What would you minutes. pair this with? Um, at the restaurant, we do fries. We like to make sure that you can kind of dip all the, the broth that mm -hmm. you get in the bottom of this pan. That's the good stuff, too. And so can this be a gluten-free meal? Absolutely. Explain that. Um, we do fries because we can keep it gluten free. Okay. Um, but I love bread, being a chef, so I always pair it with bread too. I just can't get away from it. Yeah, it's good stuff. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us. You Absolutely. Had, you had said that you, this is your one year. We just turned one this year. And you guys were given an honor as well. Yes, uh, we just got a top 100 wine list from Open Table in the country. That's awesome. So we're really proud of that fact. We have our own wine too. Uh, we've been doing really well. So good food, good wine. Come check us out. Uh, anyone that's been in, thank you for helping us turn one. We really appreciate it. Well, thank you for being here. Absolutely. Chef Jackie has shared her own recipe for mussels with us. You'll be able to find it later today on CaseyLive.tv. So what crazy holidays can we celebrate today?